why a boomerang always comes back. Well, sometimes. You won't be throwing anything outside today, folks. But look on the bright side. It's my new boss at Science and Development. Plans are running light hard. You better get a move on. There's no hot water. You could have saved me some. Oh, mine was cold too. The rain's flooded the heater. Look, it's my new boss. He does the science spot on the Rise and Shine show. Yeah, we'll tell him to fix the weather. Hey, Mum, have you seen my cake? Oh, I wouldn't bother. So we'd like to send you some of our just released products from the Department of Science and Development. Kidding? What? Including the Home Deallergizer set and a copy of Science Lover, the sensational story of Marie Curie, Skolovska, and her battles with booze, drugs, and men. Oh, somebody stuck this under the door for you. She's not sick, is she? She's the cat's mother. The doctor said I had to for women's reasons. So that was my last. I might be a little bit stressed for a while. You'll be fine, love. No more coughing, eh? Here's your cake. Now leave your desk looking nice and rinse out your mug. First impressions are lasting impressions. And tell Dr. Saperstein how much we love his show. Sure, Mum. Hey, Frank, have you seen my umbrella? It's from Gina. She and Phil are moving to Darwin. We're going to live on Marble Island. What? Sorry, love. You've quit. And I swore twice at the cat. And I'm going on the pill. Can't have absolution if that's what you intend. You know the church's view on that. Well, Father Broden of Khartoum Junction allows it. Who told you that? Half the Catholic Women's League. Are you using birth control? It's a long way to Khartoum Junction. I thought you might save me the trip. Parish priests are not department stores. You don't shop around till you find what you want. Oh, please don't get angry with me today, Father. I've had to give up smoking. See? The drawbacks of birth control. Taking the pill is a big decision. Say hi to Father Broden from me. Excuse me. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm Harvey McHugh, the new temp. Oh, yes. We've been expecting you. I have to dry them fast or the polish bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Saperstein's late. You better sign on, though. It's 8.37. Thanks. I'm Yvonne, his secretary. Hi. Need any Tupperware? Uh, not right now. Well, I suppose I could use the lunchbox. <laughs> Lovely. I'll put you down for the super fresh. It has a built-in lettuce crisper. <laughs> I hope you know how to wrap. You'll be sending out our phone orders. I'm great at that. Mum reckons I could wrap jelly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the office. It's very bright. It wasn't always like this. Before he came, it was all gloom and doom. <laughs> Why? So much research, they've never got funding. I must have typed a thousand letters begging for dough. <laughs> the number of nails I chipped for science. So all this is Dr. Saperstein's work. I gave him the idea. He walked into one of my Tupperware parties and said, Yvonne, why aren't we selling science? <laughs> and we've never looked back. I can't wait to meet him. Is he just like he is on TV? Oh, goodness, no, sweetheart. He's serious. Mature. A bit on the shy side. <laughs> I saw a star fallen from the heaven. Oh, Dr. Satterstein. Hi, Dr. Satterstein. I'm coming with you the new temp. I would smoke from the pit. Oh, I'm not lifting him again. My nails are still wet. This sponge represents a smoker's lung. But supposing you don't want lungs like this and you're sick of being a social leper, how do we break the chains of the nicotine chain gang? Numero uno, H2O. Yes, this is very good. And this, Mother Nature's quit gum. But finally, you. Because you can do it. I thought, uh... Does he do this much? I only started a fortnight ago. Ah, smudge my nails. Spruce. She's from personnel. 
keep her out of the house. Yes. Can I help you? I'm waiting for Dr. Saperstein. I wish you were waiting for me. Um, he's, he's busy at the moment doing a live radio interview. He can't be interrupted. I'll have to confess that. Can I be of help? I'm Diane Dawson from Personnel. Um, we're introducing Get Fit classes and I need these questionnaires to be filled out by the staff. It's not too much trouble? No, it's great exercise, going from desk to desk. <laughs> OK, thanks. Um, will you remind the staff to read the instructions first? They probably won't, nobody does. Page one, they tick. Page two gets circled. Page three, colour in. And page four... Gosh, I've forgotten. Oh, <laughs> cross out. This is very kind of you, Mr... McHugh, um, now let me get this straight. Tick, circle, cross out, colour in. Colour in, cross out. Of course. And will you remind them not to put gum on the back? It short circuits our computer. I'll check every one myself. I can't begin to thank you, Mr McHugh. Two hours since your last cigarette. You've already added five extra minutes onto your lifespan. Now look down at the sheets in front of you and find the name of your butt buddy. You'll be kicking the habit together. Now, we suggest that you provide your mutual support in a public place or over the telephone. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Good riddance. Excuse me, you are perhaps Monica. I am Sasha. Your butt buddy. Uh, you're not from staff counselling, are you? No. I'm Harvey McHugh, the new temp. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's nice. Hmm? It's very pretty. I bet it sells well. Not on the market yet. Dr. Sepperstein, I, I couldn't help noticing you might have some sort of a problem. I've got the same problem as everybody else. Except my eyes are a bit more bloodshot than I have to go on TV. Well, Avon tells me what we need for the show. We've got a bucket, blindfold and our new water diviner for $10.99. The minister has arrived. Show him in. Oh, pleasure to see you, minister. Yes, doctor. Hello, minister. Let's get down to business. Shut the doors on your way up, McHugh. Good thing he didn't come earlier. Oh, the minister wouldn't care as long as we're making money. Once upon a time, he never came near us. The past two weeks, he's practically lived here. I was hoping to be paired with you. You seem like a, a woman of strength. <laughs> After you. Please take a seat. Oh! Oh, thank you. Um, just a beer, thanks. No alcohol, remember? Orange juice for two. Uh, bring a jug. You still haven't told me why you're giving up? Oh, I must, because of work. I'm a hairdresser. Oh, of course. Sasha's unisex of mafficking. I knew I'd seen you before. You were always in the local paper. Stop it, stop it. I'm, I'm embarrassed. And me without a perm. Your hair looks lovely. <laughs> Not a single split end. The rain does make it wavy. No, you put the quid gum under the tongue and then press down like a kiss that's a rothman special filter excuse me 
This is non-smoking. Not now, sunshine. sunshine. He's insulting my honour. No, Sasha, no. Remember what they said. For the next two weeks, don't let anything upset you. I feel like a dork. It'll be all worth it when they start to jump around a bit. Heard your boss came in drunk again last night. Did you hear that? The vine. Oh, yes. You're disgusting. I perv on all races equally. Did the vine say why Dr. Saperstein's been drinking? Oh, geniuses do stuff like that. He was head of a department at 26. 26? Yeah, should be running the department by now. What happened? Oh, he got charged with a big one. Sexual harassment. And the animal. Was he guilty? Oh, it doesn't matter once you're charged. His wife left him. His career fell apart. And then they exiled him to sad. I was a dump in those days. Nobody dreamed he'd become a marketing OK, genius. people, today we're going to work on our hammers. Let's warm up with a few star jumps. And one and two and one and two and three and four 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 and three and What's anything matter? Legal ad guy says I couldn't stop her. Marbo Island's part of Australia, so if she wants to take the kids up Look, there... Look, you'll this... still get to see them. How? Trams don't go to Darwin, mate. They'll forget me. You know, my boys. No, of course they won't. You're their dad. No, not now. They've got Phil. I went to aerobics once. I'm convinced they hold those classes so you get injured and retire early. Working. <laughs> You'll feel better after some painkillers. It's locked. Oh, yes, that's right. We've had to. Got a few clerks who are chemically dependent. The key's in the top drawer of Dr. Saperstein's desk. Oh, um, I'm not allowed to go in there. Oh, you'll never know. Couldn't you do it? I've just glued these on, love. I'm supposed to sit still for a while. This is the price you pay for perving. I can't find it. Right at the back. Doomsday report. Estimated size of Nemesis asteroid, 300 kilometers across. Uh, predicted date of asteroid collision. Collision? Oh my God, that's on Friday. Impact equivalent to one billion atomic bombs. Care to join me in a drink? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Twice in a week I've had to sober him you up. You don't like Dr. Saperstein, do you? I'd like him more if he got hit by a bus. Well, he thinks the world of you. Minister, the documents... Not now, thank you, Mary. Thirty years ago, he won a Menzies Award to study at the Massachusetts Institute. His only rival was just one mark behind him. He might have been better than you. Nobody's better than me. Oh, the pettiness of life. I've got some good news and some bad news, Victor. First, the good news. Dr. Saperstein doesn't have very long to live. Not the bad, sir? Neither do you. Feeling better? It's not true. <laughs> it's not. This is our link to the Siding Spring Observatory. That's Nemesis right there. Can't, can't we just blow it up or something? <laughs> In ten years' time, we might have had a chance. But our technology is not that advanced right now. It's rather impressive in a way. A billion tons of rock on a rampage through the universe. Is it, is it true that comets wiped out the dinosaurs? No species is safe from cosmic cleansing. Well, you ought to be warning people. Can you imagine what will happen? Be riots, anarchy, complete social breakdown. 
You're very privileged, Harvey. Only a few hundred people know worldwide. The minister and I have decided that no one should be told. Not friends, not family. If you really love them, you'll spare them this. I don't want to die. <laughs> Neither did the dinosaurs. There'll be no more art, or music, or women. Oh, please, God. Please don't wipe us out. You're pretty quiet tonight. A few problems at work? Yeah. I was thinking... I was thinking of going to Darwin so I can be near my boys. Yeah, good idea. Is it? Or is it best just to have a clean break? What good am I doing them now? It's hurting me, confusing them. A lot of guys in divorce give up seeing their kids. Because in the end, it's just too hard. Night, Harv. Night, Frank. If you want to kill yourself, do it outside. But it's pouring. Then borrow Harv's umbrella. Oh, I gave them to Fury. You I'll what? I didn't know they were yours. Um, have a yes, quick gun, man. Have a cup. Oh, hang on. Lawn, it's for you. It's some foreign bloke. Foreign? How long is this going to go on for? Yeah, oh, she'll settle down. Hello? How are you feeling? Like my skin's crawling off. Help me, Sasha. got delayed at the studio. Uh, Miss Dawson rang to remind you about the efficiency order. <sighs> I've been thinking a lot about my life. I wish I'd been a little nicer. Not much. Just a bit. Will anything survive? Yvonne's Tupperware. You cockroaches. <laughs> A million years of evolution, and that's all we leave behind. So, who knows what might crawl from the slime, just like we did after the dinosaurs. <laughs> Stay away from revelations. It really doesn't help much. She's through here. What'd you say your name was? Sasha. Mum, some guy here to see you. Slash, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> I brought them. Mr. Donovan? Have one now. You'll feel better. I'll never feel better. It's like I'm on fire inside, as if I'd swallowed a sanctuary lamp and nothing will put it out. Oh, it's only for the first few days, and then we'll add years to our lives. Well, I could be hit by a truck tomorrow, and then it'll all have been for nothing. It's Frank's. It's a Benson and Hedges. Special or mild? Special. I thought so. Oh, I filled out the form about uh, why I smoke. Oh, you have to read it to me. That's what they say. No, 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 no. I'm too embarrassed. I took up smoking because I wanted something that tasted of love. Please, don't laugh.
whenever I smoke, I feel my legs are long and glamorous. And I'm seeing the world in high heels. Gee, she's nice. Wonder if she knows I'm only a temp. Doesn't really matter now. This time next week there won't be a public service. I'm gonna sit beside her. Hi. Mr. McHugh. Harvey. Having sausages. Yeah. What did you have? A salad. These burst-proof skins are a great invention. Oh, and, and by the way, I... I finished your forms and I've taken off all the gum. <laughs> oh, you all right? Uh, Quick, yeah. have some water. <coughs> Sorry. I like hot food. <laughs> oh, I hate it. When I was seven, my parents sent me to boarding school, and for all those years, I ate such bland food. Now, curries, luxes, vindaloos, I cry when I eat them. Twenty-seven tissues. I can't help it. I'm not even sad. Piano three. I was thinking of going tonight. Me too. Really? I might see you there, then. We could go together. With two or more tickets, you get discounts on the popcorn. Oh, we'd be mad not to then, wouldn't we? Yeah. But I won't have time to change. Uh, the actual film starts at 8.17, but we'll see you in the foyer at 7.23. Sure thing. You are on a roll. What's your secret, Harve? Believe me, Morris. You don't want to know. That's me. Strip. Wait out there. Ah, you all right? I just felt like a cry. That's all. What was it? The loved and the lonely. No, it's giving up smoking. It make you sad sometimes. Oh yeah, it's no good. Tobacco contains over four thousand chemicals. I miss them, Bernard. Every last one. Oh. I'm withdrawing from 4,000 drugs. Yeah, well, it's no wonder you feel a bit ordinary, but it, it'll pass. Eh? I need help. Yeah, all right, love, just settle down. Calm down. Now, don't worry about dinner. I'll go back out there and I'll get some Chinese. I don't mean help in the kitchen. I mean here. That's why I smoked, you see, to suppress my feelings. Now that I've stopped... I've got all these emotions with nowhere to go. Yeah, all right, take it easy, take it easy. Now, just relax. Smile for me. Yeah. Now, those teeth are definitely whiter. Your breath is better. And those tiny little lines on your upper lip, they're really disappearing. Yeah? Now, does that make you feel better? I'm home. Oh, canals overflowed. Half of Maffa King's underwater. That foreign bloke still here? He looked like the sort who'd pinch the silver. What foreign bloke? Not spinning your bow tie tonight? What do you want? To see Nemesis. Go away, Victor. Show me. Stunning, isn't it? I thought the minister might have been joking. Do you think this is random or part of nature's plan? Nature's plan? Nature's like the public service. Systematic chaos. Well, this is probably just some cosmic bureaucratic error. 
Victor, there's something I'd like to get off my chest. You've probably forgotten this. But in our final year at uni, we both applied for the Menses Award to study at MIT. Remember? Vaguely. I won it by a single mark. It changed my career. It was Is like there a point to this story? I fixed the experiment. I wanted the menses so much that I switched animals in the lab. The mouse on testosterone actually died. Then I should have gone to MIT. I'm sorry, Victor. All these years, it's, it's not been good for me. There's something I'd like you to know as well. Your sexual harassment charge. That grade one, too. What was her name? Carla Heisen. A nubile blonde with innocent eyes. Remarkable less. She could cry on cue. I used a bit of influence later and got her into acting school. You set me up. You stole my award. Glad this is coming, because you're going to get what you deserve. I hope it obliterates every quasar of I your being. I'll be here to see you splatter. I want to watch you ride. You're the first man I've met who cries at the movies. Didn't mean to. It's just so sad. A beautiful piano getting eaten by a shark. Whoopi Goldberg wasn't actually playing. Her technique wasn't right. You don't play the piano. Sort of. Pedals and everything, not just chopsticks. I always wanted to learn. They only taught guitar at St Tristan's. It was a progressive school. She's Anglican. Mum will kill me. Oh, Bon. Doesn't matter now. Here, yeah, have some cake. Sugar doesn't agree with me. Diane. You know I'm only a temp. What does that matter? Well, you're a three, four. I've been moved to every department except fisheries. It's the only one left. It doesn't matter how. You and I can be successes. All you have to do is set yourself some goals. Stop it, Diane. Oh, Harv, you'll think I'm bossy. I'd never think you're bossy. It's your job. Hey, uh, how did you get into efficiency anyway? Well, my parents are workaholics, but they're incredibly impractical. They spend all their time talking about the cleaning while I do the roster. I was so good at it, I thought I may as well make a career out of organising people. Uh, okay.